Sweet Bay is closing 33 of its underperforming Florida stores. 2,000 employees will lose their jobs. And as Brad Davis reports tonight, people who shopped at those stores are also left scrambling. I just keep thinking, what are we going to do? Jamie Jackson has been coming to what is now this Sweet Bay store for 15 years. And today, she saw the sign out front informing customers that the store will be closing. I am severely disappointed. Uh, it's going to make a huge negative impact on our community. Most of the people in and around this neighborhood that surrounds the Sweet Bay near Columbus Drive and I-4 rely heavily on the store. Hazel Alcantara walks to the store most of the time and was sad to hear about the closing. That's a hard thing for the whole neighborhood because it's the only one around. The Sweet Bay stores will remain open for about another month. The pharmacy and liquor stores will shut down as well. That's a quick adjustment for many shoppers to make. And the communities where the grocery has functioned and provided, you know, a convenient place to shop for people, it's going to be a tough blow. They're going to feel like some family members moved that they didn't really want to move. You know, I mean, it's a it's a store, but it's part of their family. St. Pete Mayor Bill Foster, whose city is losing three Sweet Bays, immediately assembled key staff members and has talked with Sweet Bay representatives, vowing to make the situation a high priority in his city. <laughs> Cleve Fullwood, who owns this barber shop just a few feet from the Sweet Bay, is concerned about more than just his business dropping off. I'm more shocked the fact that what are the people going to do in the area, you know, and I'm more sad for that, if anything, you know, because uh, these people really depend on Sweet Bay being here. In Tampa, Brad Davis, ABC Action News.